basically that's the idea of the nails today. Um, I used pink and black to come up with this design. And this is how it came out. I just left this one so I can show you how to do it. And that's how it looks. Um, what I used was the Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle as my base coat because I do want my nails to grow longer. Um, so that's what I used. And then I used this LA Colors um, Color Craze Nail Polish with hardener. This one is in Megawatt. And I used that over the base coat. And it comes out, as you can see, it comes out with a little bit of shimmer. And when I was buying this, I was trying to look for a matte, you know, nude color. And this just happens to look nude. I didn't know that it had, like, shimmer in it. But it's, it's a good color. Um, and now I just... The first thing I did was take this Ruby Kisses Black Nail Polish right here. And I this is, like, um, one of my um, eyeshadow palettes that I'm just using the back of it. And... I put out some nail polish. Then I am using um, this is the pointiest thing I could find in my nail kit, and this is like a cuticle remover, you know. And um, I just used it to design my nails. So I'm just gonna use one side and dab on it a little. And then I'm just going to design. So you want to create some C's and squiggly lines, curvy squiggly lines, and a few dots like that. I'm going to take out some more nail polish. a lot. Okay. And I'm just going to dab into it and work with it. I'm going to make like a C up here. And then I'm just going to make like a squiggly line, a very curvy one so you'll be able to put um, pink nail polish on the corners. I'm going to make another one right here in the corner. And don't worry if you make like mistakes like put nail on your skin you can always go back and clean that up and I'm gonna put another C down here and whoop, <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna put a dot over here another dot and be careful to like because um, as you can see in this nail I have a little bit of flyaways because get sticky the nail polish um and it like makes a little bit of flyaway so work make sure it's not like you know do that make sure to be really careful but i don't really bother about it see for example this one has like a lot of flyaways on the top just to be careful to you know not to do that <laughs> and i'm just gonna put a little you know something something there and you just want to make them unique looking make them all of the exact and um yeah i think i'm good with this so now i'm just gonna wait for this to dry up because you don't want to mesh up your colors together so you're just gonna wait for that to dry and now i'm going to take this pink um brucey nail hardener in the color party girl to work with and then I'm gonna clean the black off of this I'm just using a piece of tissue and I'm just like wiping it off so you know the black and pink won't get all mixed together just want to clean that off just clean that off you can use um you know nail polish and clean it off but I'm just being lazy so um <laughs> wait for that to dry up now for the fun part, you're just going to take some pink nail polishes and fill in those circles. So 
don't make them too far away from you guys. And you're just gonna fill up the circles, you know, so like, just put a little bit of pink there, fill that up really nicely. Do that to this corner over here. And then go over here and do that. You know, just fill it up in this little curve right here. You're just gonna fill that up like that. See how nicely that came out? And I think I'm quite done. I'm done with this. But that's how it came out. Like that. And then you really, really want to make sure this dries up. Because then we're going to use this um, Sally Hansen Hardest Nails UV Top Coat. I got this from the French Manicure Kit. The three-piece um, French Manicure Kit. I'm just going to use that as our top coat. But you want to wait for the pink to dry because... If you don't, and you put a top coat, you know, it's gonna mess up. So, wait for that to dry up. It's gonna take a longer while. And later on, if you wanna, you know, like check if it's like dried, what I do is like press on it a little to see if it dries, but this one looks like really like bubbly and like still fresh, so I'm not even going to touch that. It looks shiny and like not, you know, dry, so I'm going to wait a little longer. Sorry if this is bad lighting, I'm like in my living room right now. It's like 6 or 7 a.m. and it's still dark outside. So it feels dry. Okay, I'm not getting any paint on my fingers, so I assume that it's all dry. Okay, now we're gonna take our top coat, and the secret to this is to not like, you know, pile on the top coat too much because you don't want to mess up your nails because that happens to like three of my nails. So um, you're just gonna like do it like this. One stroke here, one stroke in the middle, and then one stroke to the other side. And yeah, you're good. You don't want to double up too much because it's less if you don't do it as much, it's gonna be less likely for it to mess up. So yeah. That's the complete look right there. And these are how all my nails look. And I think they're pretty awesome for the first time I'm doing this. Like, I will definitely put up some pictures for you to see. And yeah, that's the tutorial. That is the nail tutorial. Do it yourself. Thing for you. And I thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys later.